Iman Ghazi is one of the most popular YouTuber right now. And if you watch his popular videos, he is creating content in inspiration and also in a business related. His thumbnails are very simple and attractive to the viewers. And often he used the similar kind of style of thumbnails for his videos. And I thought that let's take a challenge to recreate his thumbnail second time and see what the outcome is. I will show you all the process, how to create the background, how to create the text effect that Iman Ghazi uses on his thumbnail and also the color grading that you can achieve with the same kind of style of Iman Ghazi. But the process of creating the thumbnail are same for his other thumbnails as like he is creating. Now for first I'm going to take some of the pictures of mine as like Iman Ghazi then I'm going to use a background. Now for this video I'm going to use the Photoshop but you can use the free version of Photopia which is kind of similar version of Photoshop. It's online so you don't need to be download on your computer use it so it's very easy to use you can just follow and use that photo here to create the same kind of thumbnails as like me and now we are in photoshop for first we're going to go to the new we're going to create a full hd document as usual i always like to go with the full hd version not the hd version where the size is 190 or the height uh, is 180 so you can follow the same uh, settings and just create it second we're going to uh, create our background for background it's important for us we cannot exactly do the same thing as like a mn gazi for that one we're going to create completely new background for ourselves now we can see the background image so i'm going to use this one so first first i'm going to make it a bit, little bit bigger and i'm going to only keep that uh the table and the top of the version so it's kind of similar okay after that we're going to create the color version as like iman gazi so for that it's going to be easy uh, for us for first we're going to take our rectangle over here then we're going to create a rectangle like this light over here we're going to take a light now if i go here you can see the properties or you can just a little bit zoom closer you can find that around over here or you can get that same thing over here now we're going to take the 50 pixels and we're going to create a round shape then change that into white and now i think it's okay so we're going to create that light so i for first make sure that's okay next we're going to create that light just for first double click over here then just outer glow now here we're going to first take a color like Imagazi, he using a red color. So we're going to increase that, then increase that just a little bit. Then we apply a drop shadow. Now here we're going to change the color into red and change the blending mode into color dot. And this is final. Next we're going to give that same color look into the inner side of that stroke. Double click over here then just go and apply inner glow change that color into red and increase that now this time change that into soft light and i think uh don't need to be take it normal then decrease the size and i think it's perfectly okay for us and now you can see it's kind of similar that as iman Kelsey, and we just recreate that light effect over here next we're going to apply the colors over the too much lighting so for first now we're going to duplicate that same things and just take it over here this side he is using a ball so we can use that similar kind of light over there now double click over here now only change the color where the red color you can change it into blue color or cyan color uh, we're going to change that into cyan and it's kind of okay right now next we're going to apply colors over the time for first this is okay next we're going to add colors like gradients go to the adjustment layer take that gradient then change it into zero then change this color into blue whatever cyan color that we applied okay and hit okay then change that blending mode into soft light or oval. I think soft light is working best and do the same thing as like this one. Take another duplicate layer and then change that angle over here. It's around 180. Now take your time and adjustment all, all over the things which is perfect and just give that kind of similar color that you want to create. I'm going to take some time and color again, apply the color all over the background and just try to create the similar things as like Emma Gozzi. For that one, first we're going to take the brush tool and apply the same color again 
for this part and this part to make some adjustment. For final, we're going to create a snapshot over the background. Just select the stop layer, then Shift, Control, Alt, E on your keyboard. And if you're using Mac, you need to just press Shift, Command, Option, E to create that snapshot. Then convert that layer into smart object. Go to the filter, blur, and apply some Gaussian blur. Not too much. We're going to not going to apply too much Gaussian blur over here. Just a little bit to settle it down. Now we can do another color and do all of the adjustment later, but I just want to show you the process, just what you can do, the color version and the adjustment, it takes some time to do and make it as perfect as possible with your image and also your choice. There is a little bit difference between uh, your choice and exactly follow the same. So I'm going to depend on myself and what is look best for myself. Now I think it's perfectly okay for me. Next we're going to put our model, like my image, over the design. Now here I chose this image for the world, but first we're going to select our model and remove the background. Take the quick selection tool, then go to select and mask, and here select subject. Now after that, just we're going to make sure our image is selected properly because this red part we're going to remove so we need to make sure this things is perfectly okay for that one we're going to use the brush tool increase the hardness a little bit in and decrease the size then click and drag i think it's taking so too much and now here i think it's okay next we're going to select the out setting over here you can just click and select the output as a new layer with layer mask and hit ok next we're going to retouch our model image as you can see there is some spot in face if you want to do that in your face it's going to be okay or you can skip that part Now you can see it's almost done and you can see we just remove the spots. Next step we're going to retouch our model image. So it depends on you if you want to remove or add anything. You can just do it or you can just skip it. For first we're going to make sure that background is removed properly. Uh, I think it's okay for us. Next we're going to create a blank layer over here. Then take the brush tool. We're going to decrease the opacity around 4%. Then just click and drag. Then we're going to go to the adjustment layer and take that curve and we're going to do some of the color adjustment over here. Then go to the adjustment R, we're going to increase the R a little bit. Then go to the green channel and do the same thing for blue. Now it's just a retouching process that we're going to use curve. So we, if you want to skip that, you can skip it or you can just want to keep that same thing. You can do it uh, a little bit settle for the color changes. And I think it's perfectly okay. Next, we're going to retouch our image with the camera filter. For that, uh, just press Shift, Control, Alt, E and then convert that layer into smart object. Go to the filter, camera filter. Over here, we're going to take our basic first. And then we're going to use our details to reduce noise to make a smoothness space over here. You can see, then reduce noise, sharpening. Then go to the color mixer. Over here, we're going to make some adjustment with the colors. Now I think it's perfectly okay for us. Next, convert that into smart object again and take this image and paste it over here. Go to the edit and free transform. We're going to reduce the size. Just zoom out by pressing alt and scroll bar of your mouse and then just make it smaller. Next, we're going to increase this side. So to do that, just we're going to create a duplicate layer then off this one then convert that layer into rasterize layer and we're going to increase that size by selecting 
that one and then go to the edit and continue or scale then press shift on your keyboard and click and drag and do the same thing over here and i think it's perfectly all right next step we're going to add our colors like uh, adding some color and highlights over the model to do that go to the adjustment layer then take the gradient again we're going to do the same thing as like before for first we're going to use the zero then change that color into blue okay and then change that color into oval and now we're going to clip that mask into with the model right button your mouse and create clipping mask we don't want too much color over the tie here now if you can see this is too much over the here so we don't want that uh let me try another color i think it's not working i think it's okay next we're going to add us some color over the here to do that is for easy way we're going to click double click over there and then apply inner glow and for we're going to target first this side to so increase the size then change that color into color dot or linear dot i think overlay soft light i think it's working let me see with the soft light and then another shadows in a glow color now here after applying that just press right button on your mouse and then create layers and hit ok we're going to create a layer over here select this one and apply just a layer mask and also do the same thing then invert this layer mask by ctrl i ctrl i take the brush tool be sure the foreground color is white increase the opacity and apply this color into this side then do the same thing for this one and do the same things I'll for this side also press double click then apply inner glow this time change the color into red I think it's okay to apply I think it's already all right press right button mouse and create a layers hit okay then select this one and apply a layer mask then invert that layer by pressing ctrl i and now take the brush tool opacity 100% and apply that and now you can see it's reflecting the color from the background i think it's not properly looking well so i'm going to change that color into uh, color dot i think this is perfectly okay now if i decrease the opacity it's working perfectly all right now this is fine next step we're going to add the same kind of text effect into the background as like imangazi to do that just take that text then click now here you can see we can type anything we want then take that text into the back side of the model and here if i want to just fill it, press any kind of color like ten thousand dollar and slash month we're going to choose the color of monster art, then increase the size of the text and select this part of the text and make it smaller and i think it's okay now we're going to create the text effect to do that just first double click on the layer we're still going to open the layer style now we're going to apply a gradient for this one we're going to choose the color a little bit like a bluish I think this is color is kind of matching it's okay then apply inner glow and then apply a stroke and then change the blending mode into overlay not too much a size just a little bit overlay or soft light i think soft light is working lower best then apply a drop shadow change that drop shadow color into black then change the blending mode into multiply and decrease the size we're going to apply a drop shadow off from the model double click over here and apply a simple drop shadow i think it's perfectly all right it's working all right now you can see it's we're almost done as like imagazi and he's using the same kind of text effect you can just keep it but there's one thing if you can see properly his text is kind of blurish so to do that select that layer go to the filter and apply gaussian blur now we need to convert that into smart object hit ok now this time decrease the size of the blur we're going to around 1.5 i think perfect and hit ok now you can see we are all mostly done as it has like imagazi so it's kind of similar style as like imagazi uh we're going to give some kind of his style you can also create your own style now next we're going to just select that layer and then shift ctrl alt e 
we're going to give a color effect by using the camera filter. Press right button mouse and convert that into smart object. Go to the filter, camera filter. Now here in the camera filter is kind of like experimental as usual I say it depends on every images and every style. For me I'm going to try a lot of things and see which is good and which is working which is not. So for yourself it is going to do the same thing. For first we're going to target with the basic. Now you can see we are finally done. We just recreate the Emergazi style of thumbnail. He used similar kind of style of text effect and also use the same kind of environment for his thumbnail. So I just want to recreate and show you the process what you can do when it's come to recreate the same thing. I have another video about creator's create challenge which is about Ali Abdul. You can also check out that. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment or you can also join our Discord server where I wish you can connect with me personally or you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So that's it for today. See you in my next video. Till then, bye. And also be sure to stay subscribed.